Hi folks, Doc here. Ended up with the day off work, so I figured I'd do some noodling around at Area 51. It's about two degrees Celsius out here, <clears throat> which uh, for you American folks is about 35, maybe 36, barely above freezing. It's a little bit chilly. Um, but that's okay. Why is it okay? That's why it's okay. Yeah, that's right folks. We got the wood stove ducted in. Um, had to make a support structure for it. And I've got it braced off the wall and yeah, I've got the tarp pinned back so it's not going to uh, get too close to it. I know it's really hard to tell on this angle. And I fashioned a temporary rain cap for it until I can purchase one. It's got some metal mesh in there to keep birds and livestock out of there and uh, it's just some used stove pipe that we were able to collect for free we like free and uh, I've got the inside and outside wall penetrations sealed up with fireproof silicone I think I already threw the tube out but you know it's meant for this sort of thing and uh, I'll take you inside and show you the rest and the star of the show in this frigid weather Ah, yes, Mr. Woodstove. It's nice and warm in here. I haven't done a temperature read, but it didn't take very long at all for me to take my coat off, and I think the sweater's going next. So, there you have it, folks. I've got heat. One of the things I decided to do today was to get my new trailer tires mounted for Robo Trailer. Uh, for a while now. I've had a couple of pairs of these aluminum directional rims, which I kind of like. They do need cleaning, and I'm probably going to wind up repainting the black part at some point or another. Uh, not today. Anyways, <coughs> when I went on my last road trip to pick up a Sears tractor, I found a pair of tires that, uh, that suited the bill um, that were going to basically do what I wanted them to do, which was look right and lower the deck head. I wanted something a little bit lower profile. Um, it's a 15-inch rim and I wanted something that wasn't going to have a huge amount of sidewall so that it would lower the trailer down a little bit. And I was having a hard time finding what I wanted on Kijiji for a re reasonable price. And uh, I actually pulled over to get a coffee on my last road trip and I saw a pair of tires being discarded that looked pretty good. And what I ended up with, for free, was a pair of these Uniroyal Tiger Paws uh, Touring. Um, <clears throat> size is not coming to me right now, so I'll just kind of flip them around until I eyeball the size here. There we go, 195, 55, 15. So they're a lower profile, which is what I wanted to bring the trailer down just a little bit. And they're wide enough that they're gonna work with my 15 by seven rims. So today, amongst other things, I decided that I would get them mounted up. Did one while I was waiting for the camera to charge. And uh, I think that's gonna suit the bill nicely. Seems to be holding air. Not bad for free. There's a lot of tread on these things. So what I've got there is one of those tire changing mechanism deals. Um, you guys can get them from Harbor Freight in the States, I believe. I got mine from Princess Auto on sale for a pretty reasonable price, and I forget that was that was. I think it was about 60 bucks I paid. And I just bolted it to a wooden platform so that it wouldn't move. And I can unbolt it and put it away. Mounting up a tire is always a bit of a fight. But we'll give it our best shot and see what happens. So we're just going to get this mounted to the fixture. Get the little pin through a lug nut hole. The hold down clamp. That in there and get her tightened down. Good stuff. Tire. And what I've got here is a product called Tire Slick. And no, this is not an endorsement, and no, I'm not paid to show you this, but this is what I've been using. It's a, it's a bead lubricant that I get from Princess Auto, and uh, it, it's really good for this sort of thing. It's nice and slippery. Uh, or you can use dish soap and water, which I did for years. Um, I picked up a bottle of this stuff on sale a while back and 
decided I really liked it. So we're going to run that around the bead surface. Need more space in here. Get around halfway. in there, or at least try to. Looks like I could use a little more of this stuff. Don't be shy. Lubricant is never a bad thing. But we'll get her started. fine with this tire fixture half the time it does get a little difficult Put down in there tire into the groove as much as I can and sometimes the arm pops out I'm gonna redesign the end of the arm one these days so that's as far as she wants to go willingly so that's fine we're gonna call it good there Pop that out, cram that back into the groove, get the iron wedged in, and have it not work. It always works easier off camera. The lights just flickered, that was weird. Anyways, we're almost there. I have no idea why the lights just flickered. things always go easier off camera. Go figure. So we're going to hook up our air supply. I've got the regulator and the compressor dialed down to 40 psi for bead seating. And the valve core is out. Grab our little valve tool and core. And just let that pig air up. Rated pressure on the tire is 44 PSI. I've got my air compressor regulator dialed into 40. So I'll just let that fill itself, call it good, and I'll touch up the fine, uh, fine, you know, a couple of pounds later. Anyways, that ought to be good there. And there you have it. Got my trailer tires mounted up. Put them on the trailer later. These tires do have a lower load carrying capacity rating than my other trailer tires. Uh, these ones are good for 1135 pounds each, so 2270. Um, the stuff that I tend to carry on my trailer, I'm not even approaching that anyway, so that's no problem. Yeah, that's it, folks. Here lies the lowly metal remainders of M2. That's it, she's been stripped pretty much bare. Uh, the factory variator assembly is still in there because I have no interest in keeping that. And that's all that's in there. That's it. Nothing else. Nothing else. Yeah, poor Anyways, me. I'm going to leave you with that for now. Uh, stay tuned. Until next time, take care of yourself. Man, I am going through the seven gates of hell trying to disconnect the regulator.